the situation is quite difficult. In a moment, as MSF, we only have a capacity to work in the case management center. Last week, we came to a village where we had around 40 patients from one village. It's unbelievable. I never have seen it before. The time is, is, is going and uh, every time you have more people contaminated uh, and then one people can contaminate many. Then you could have a really, really uh, increase in the numbers. Uh, if you take too long, you'll be more spread and more difficult to, uh, to control. To deal with this every day, to look people in the eye, you can see they are scared. To look over this fence right behind you now and see, uh, look at the patients and you know that their chances are very small. It's, uh, it's horrible. MSF is not able longer to cope with everything here. We need more experts to come, we need epidemiologists, we need medical staff. Okay, the whole Ebola story, as you know, is a hoax. There's no Ebola coming to get you. It's another snakes on the plane story. Made up out of whole cloth. They show you a few standard medical drills. Standard medical drills. You know? And they turn it into a, a disease that, quite frankly, just melts you from the inside as you bleeding out of all orifices. This is yet another, it's just another horror story. It's another hoax story. It's another lie to make you scared of what you can't really see or fight anyway, right? They can just tell you all of a sudden, hey, you know, LAX. They pop up a big old tent and tell you, hey, Ebola finally made it. The big L finally made it. It's gonna eat you up from the inside and make you, and make you melt. And then they show you these pictures. It's always the same. It's always just a drill going on. There's nobody dying and nobody being hurt by this fake hoax that started, what, 17 years ago, just out of whole cloth? Of course, from the animals, just like the AIDS hoax. Nonsense. Lies. Straight up nonsense. So anyways, this goes into a little bit more than the Ebola. It's the E-ball, the E-ball or the five ball. If you go back to looking at Rosemary's baby, uh, they would make Rosemary or whoever the, the, the woman is who's carrying the baby wear, it's called an E-ball, and it would be filled at the time in the movie, which is called Tannis Root, which is uh, you know, just made up. But it could be really anything. You know, whatever you want to stick in there, you can stick in there. But it goes back to the incense, it goes back to the, the capturing of an essence or a spirit within a ball. That goes back to the, the earth and the Gaia and the, and the Mother Earth and all of that. All of it plays the same thing, all right? So this, of course, is a hoax story. Nobody's dying, nobody's getting hurt. It's just another um, play Babu, that's father. Babu, that's father. All right, so just nobody died, nobody got hurt. I, I don't want to press the issue, but don't worry about it. Ebola is not going to get you. It never will, ever, period. I'm just going to add a quick clip to the end, and this would have been, I guess, you know, uh, on TV back in the days of the antenna, you know, and back uh, when they were scaring the heck out of people, at least in California and Arizona, and all with this, this killer bees, that are, they're all coming up to get you. And they even gave you a nice little spreadsheet so that you could see the, uh, the uh, it's a proposed course so you, that you can plot it out. Gee, in 20 years, it'll be here. And, you know, I remember that as a kid. They'd put these things on the, on, on the news, and then and you'd be scared to death. Anytime you saw a bee, was it a killer bee? Because, you know, people do have reactions just to normal honeybees.
You know, a single sting can, can do people in. It just depends, man. But killer bees is a made-up story, just like Ebola is a made-up story. They take something and just and take it to extremes. All right? Anyways, um, here's a little clip from that scare from, from years and years ago. TV premiere, The Swarm, a remarkable love story set in the midst of terror. Michael Caine and Catherine Ross. Can love survive the deadliest force mankind ever faced? You're the one positive thing that's happened to me here. Henry Fonda, Richard Witt, Mark Olivia de Havilland, Patty Dugaston, Richard Chamberlain, Lee Grant. Move out! It could really happen. A three-hour special, Tuesday. You can put your faith in Jesus Christ and he can get you out of here through simple grace alone. Com novos casos de ebola detectados todos os dias na Libéria, a Organização Mundial da Saúde corre contra o tempo para analisar amostras do vírus em seu laboratório na Guiné. Une fois que l'expérience est finie, on vient regarder les résultats ici. Donc en fait, quand on a une courbe plate comme ça, c'est que le résultat est négatif. Et celui-là, on a une courbe qui apparaît et ça, c'est un enchaînement qui est positif. Dès qu'on a les résultats positifs et négatifs, on contacte les médecins qui nous ont envoyé les échantillons. Donc là, c'est des échantillons du Liberia pour leur dire quels échantillons sont positifs, quels échantillons sont négatifs. Parce que la maladie, ce n'est pas seulement ici. Ça peut être dans ici, euh, dans cette zone, les, la réticence des villages est liée au fait que les gens ont été surpris par la maladie et ont très peur, ont très peur de Ebola. Une personne qui est décédée. Enquanto isso, a OMS está ajudando autoridades de Serra Leoa a combater a doença na cidade de Kenema. Ela também alerta para o perigo de uma maior disseminação do ebola, caso mais recursos não sejam alocados para o seu combate. So this is an emergency and we are already in trouble. We are already fighting something that is is very very large. It is going to get a lot larger if we do not get a lot more resources. The resources we desperately need are personnel, uh, logistics in terms of the standard things, PPE, medication, uh, general hospital equipment. Centro de Informação das Nações Unidas para o Brasil, Unique Rio.